In other news, Barack Obama is an illegal president. At least that's what a Maryland KKK group thinks, and they're trying to do something about it. The Confederate White Knights of Maryland are meeting tomorrow in a government building in Cecil County, Maryland, to discuss plans to impeach President Obama. Imperial Wizard Richard Preston, leader of the group, told a local paper that Barack Hussein Obama is an illegal president. He needs to be removed from office. We also want Obamacare shut down. It's against citizens' rights. The FBI has already notified Maryland State Police about the meeting and what to expect at it. Joining me now to talk more about tomorrow's meeting and the motivation for it is Richard Preston, Imperial Wizard of the Confederate White Knights of Maryland. How are you doing Mr. today? Mr. Preston, good to see you. Um, I, I guess. I, you know, I, I don't, here's, first of all, why, why impeach Obama? What's, what, well, for one thing, President Barack Hussein Obama has never shown his citizenship papers, no matter who is asked, who is offered, or anything else. Um, Glenn Beck's website, The Blaze, now has information on it showing that he was an Indonesian citizen from before grade school, clean up through college. Um, dual citizenship is not supposed to be allowed for a president, for one. Um, Would you be in favor of Ted Cruz as president? I could care less if Ben Carson was president. As long as whoever's president no, is... No, Ted Cruz was born in Canada and his dad was Cuban. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I would, I would have a problem with that. You'd be opposed to that. Um, the whole thing is an American president should be an American. Um, for a president to be from any other country or raised in another country, you don't know where his well, that's, allegiance that's, lies yeah, to that's, country. That's, that's, what, that's what the Constitution says. So you just right. you, okay. Um, so what? Why the KKK? I, I don't get this. Back back a hundred years ago, mm -hmm. you know, or 150 years ago, you had slavery, and the KKK was principally a police force. I mean, it was an instrument of of maintaining racial separation and maintaining people who were who were slaves. I mean, there's no other way to say it. Well, actually, but nowadays, it seems like it's more of a clown show. I, you know. Well, the biggest thing is, when the Klan first started, it really had nothing to do with maintaining the slavery. Um, it actually was founded to stop the reconstruction of the South because of what was going on with slavery. When, when it was reformulated after uh, Birth of a Nation came out. Because that, right. was, that was when okay, the Klan that, right. and that was Right, and that was... Uh, that was like in 1903. Yeah, it was actually uh, 1915 when um, Joseph Simmons redid it up on Stone Mountain. Um, when the Klan came back out at that given point, it was actually more so about the immigration that was coming into the country and that the government wasn't trying to regulate anything. But we back had then. legal racial segregation at that point. Yes, we did. Um, we don't anymore. No, we don't have any legal se segregation. Um, but look at some of what's taking place in our country at this given time. Um, the Klan is no longer, every, every aspect of the Klan has been born. It has had a, a goal or um, a meaning for what it was to do. Right. Um, in the beginning, it was about trying to stop the reconstruction of the South. Uh, during Joseph Simmons' period, when he came back out, it was to make the government do something that it was not doing. Um, in the 1960s, the Klan got a very bad name. Now, if you go past the 60s back into the 1920s, there were over four million Americans back then that were actually Klan members. There oh, was doctors, it was a, it was lawyers, a big, It was a big deal, across, particularly you know, across the um, South. We even have one United States president in our Klan book states that was knighted in the White House. Right. Um, the big thing is, it was not a bad organization. Well, why today? The Klan's never died. It's always been behind the scenes. No, I, I get that, but it's, you it's know, like, you know, we, we uh, sort of tongue in cheek. I mean, we, we, we had this thing about, you know, why are guys obsessed with guns? You know, long things right. that shoot things. And maybe some guys with small penises are obsessed with guns because, you know, hey, it's compensation. But I don't <laughs> get what the, what the I'm white thing and, and, well, it's, and, it's, and it's, everybody it's, else has to be, you know, kept down or no, pushed that's, away. No, that's just it. It's not about keeping anybody down, okay? It is about white pride, though. Um, the Klan itself But you is, can't have white pride without saying, you know, other people are, are less than you are. But that's just it. We're not, we're not saying that other people are less than us. Um, what people said during the 1960s is stuck in everybody's head. Things that happened in the 1960s is stuck in everybody's head. So you're not, you're not a, a white supremacist? No, we're white separatists. We, we're do white believe, separatists. we do believe that we have the right, as white people, to stay white people. If you really read the Holy Bible, which the Klan is a very Christian organization, the Holy Bible actually separates the races. It's, yeah, the it, Holy Bible does a whole lot of stuff. Right, and, and that's the whole thing. We are, favor of, right, and know? we are a Christian organization. We always have been. Um, I don't mind, like I said, somebody asked me one day if the reason I was against Barack Obama is because of the color of his skin. 
And my answer was, I have no problem if, they want, if America wants a black president. I have no problem if America wants a Hispanic president or an Oriental president. It does not matter to me if he's an American citizen and has the, the will for the American so, people but what, in his best behavior. What behave. kind of fear drives somebody to become a member of the Klan? What are you afraid Really, of? it's not fear. It's more so white pride. We have a lot of people but, that have but, joined. You know, white people run this country. White people have the majority of the money in this country. White people have the power in this country. I mean, what's, why do you need to, 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 to do the chest thumping thing? It's not so much the chest You've thumping You've already got thing. it all. I'm, I'm not saying it that way, okay? White and, privilege and is, a, is a huge power. Right now in this country, no American has it all. If you think about the fact that well, white this people country, have it a whole lot more than anybody else. I'm not saying they don't. I mean, I, you know, white people have a lot. But it's the point that this country right now is being flooded by illegal immigrants that are not coming here to care about becoming an American citizen.